name is Taryn from Girl Swimming and Beauty Equipment. Today I'm going to be speaking to you a little bit about the Cryolipolysis Fat Freezing 5-in-1 machine. A little bit about what this machine has to offer. This machine, most importantly, offers Cryolipolysis Fat Freezing technology, which is really amazing. These two handles over here do the fat freezing and the beauty of this machine is that the two different handles are different sizes. So the one on the right hand side is the larger fat freeze handle and then this one is the smaller handle. So they can be used on the various different body parts. Secondly, this machine also offers 40K cavitation as well as the RF and laser lipo pad uh, handles as well. When you receive your machine, you're going to receive a 5 litre ultrasound gel, anti-freeze membrane gel pads, a funnel that will be attached to the back of your machine to fill up your machine with distilled water, and finally a few um, filters that are going to be on, inserted onto the fat freeze handles. You will also receive a few other goodies and odds and ends um, that are a little spoiled just from Graal. With your machine, you're going to re receive a power safe plug. This power safe plug needs to be plugged into a power surge protector. That power surge protector needs to be plugged directly into a wall. If the, the line does not reach the wall socket, please do not plug it into an extension cable. That extension cable might cause problems. So we want to ensure that the power surge protector cable is long enough to reach the machine as well as the direct wall socket. One thing that we like to do is to always use latex gloves for using for when doing this treatment. The reason for this is that these membrane gel pads are extremely sticky. So when applying this gel onto the client's skin, your hands do become quite sticky. So straight after doing so, you can take these gloves off and apply a new pair so that your hands are easy, uh, easy, will easily access the handles without slipping and sliding. We also always keep a bottle of sanitizer around so that we can uh, sanitize and disinfect the surfaces um, in between treatments. When you receive your machine, you will receive these two plastic parts. They are for each side of the machine and they are going to hold your laser lipo pads, your, your cavitation handle and your RF handle. The machine will have screws in the side of the machine and you will just need to screw those in. It's very easy to see. Then you will get this part over here that will be separate. Okay, you will screw those four screws into the side of your machine. And then you will just twist this part of the pole into that. It fits in, um, it screws in very easily. Okay, and this also screws into this part of the machine. Okay, so those will all be three separate parts. We then have got these two holes over here. And these two holes are for the RF and cavitation uh, sockets. Okay. You will see that one of them has three holes and the other one has two holes. If you look at the machine, you will see which one needs to go in which hole. Okay, so as we can see on the left hand side, that is where our cable with the two holes is going to go in. And there is that little groove there, so that needs to go down towards the bottom. Okay, and we're going to push it in and we're going to tighten as so. The one with three holes is going to go in on the right hand side and we're going to tighten as so. Right. And then the cables at the top of the machine are for the laser lipo pads and we will uh, remember that number one is on the left followed by number two, three, four, five and six and the reason for this is that number five and six are the smaller laser lipo pads so when you are screwing these in remember that the first four are the bigger lipo pads number five and number six are the smaller lipo pads okay this is of course our power cable um, which is quite easy to just plug in so i'll just show you how that plugs in over there 
bright. And then finally, we have got our small cryo handle and our big cryo handle. They are very well labeled, so it's quite easy to show to see which is going to go in which hole. Okay. We've obviously set up our machine before, but I am going to show you how easy it is to take this handle out, okay? And when we do plug these uh, handles in, we do need to be very cautious and make sure that we push quite hard, squeezing both the top and bottom gray clips, and they actually need to click so that both of these have um, if they are positioned in place, okay, and they aren't, there's no movement there, okay. Following that, you will then take the water input screw off, and that is where you are going to put your funnel in, okay. We will screw on our funnel, making sure that it is very tightly positioned, okay, so that there's no more movement, okay. The bottom of the machine in the middle there is a, a hole that says water spilt that is your overflow so when the machine is filled with distilled water water will start to trickle out of this hole on the right hand side it says water output this is used to drain your machine okay we will drain our machines once every month and we will refill it with distilled water thereafter. So because we knew that we were doing our demo today, our machine is already filled with distilled water. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an example of how we would fill this machine with distilled water using our funnel and what it will look like when the machine starts to overflow. Okay, so we're going to pour the water in actually hear it going into the machine and it should start to over okay, now you can see that the machine is overflowing so the machine is now full okay okay we're going to allow the machine to continue to overflow so that it is not too full there you go now the machine has overflowing so we can put that cap back on. Okay, we're going to now take the funnel off and we're going to put the cap back on to ensure that no dust goes into the machine. Right, so then the, the final thing on the back of the machine that I want to talk to you about is these two silver um, nozzles over here and these are for the suction on the, hand, the fat freezing handles, okay? If you turn them to the right and you, you, you'll feel that it's quite tight, okay? That means that the, the suction is going to be quite strong, okay? The top one is for the big cryo head and the bottom one is for the small cryo when you're switching on your machine, you're going to ensure that the machine is switched on at the wall. Then, when you turn your key, the first time you switch on your machine, it is not going to start on the screen. And this is because the emergency stop switch is plugged in. You just need to turn it slightly to the right, it will pop out, and then the machine will switch on. When you see the Graal logo like that, all you need to do is tap on the screen. When you are doing a cryo fat freeze treatment, you're going to select the far left picture, okay? And you will see that it says cryo lipo one. Cryo lipo one is for the bigger fat freeze handle on the left hand side. If you select the little box that is on the bottom left hand corner, it will take you to the cryo lipo two screen. This is for the right handle um, and it is the smaller handle for the fat freezing. When you do fat freezing, your treatment time should never be longer than 20 minutes. So we're gonna take that work time right down to 20 minutes. Then something that is very important that we should always remember is that the release time should always be higher than the vacuum time. 
So if our vacuum time is 0.5 seconds, we will need to turn our release time right up to at least 1.2 or 1.4 seconds. Our cooling is our temperature and this can vary dependent on the client. We like to recommend starting at zero degrees and then you can increase the temperature to minus one or minus two degrees. Please don't go colder than that as that is when you might risk burning a client. As you can see, the parameters or the settings that we have placed on the CryoLipo 2 screen will be transferred onto the handle itself. It's quite a nice feature that once this handle is on the client's skin, you can then adjust. So you can adjust the time, the work time, you can adjust your temperature, and you can also adjust the suction and release. Okay, it also has a start and stop function. So when I press start, you'll see that there is a blue light saying that the, the machine is working. I'm going to take you back to the, the CryoLipo screen number one. Okay, so we'll just tap on there. You can see that I haven't adjusted my settings here. Those are the incorrect settings, but I do just want to show you to start the treatment. You can also press start over there and it will um, start the handle on the left, the CryoLipo number one, and then to stop, you will just press that same button again. Now these two little arrows down here, that is the back button. So we will select the back button to take us back to the main screen. The client has finished the 20 minute fat freeze treatment. You are going to take those handles off of the, the skin and you're going to place it back on the machine. You will then take that fat freeze pad off of the client's skin and throw it away. You cannot use it again. You don't need to clean the client's surf, uh, uh, skin because you are going to do a soft massage on the client's skin directly afterwards, just using your hands. Please ensure that your hands are room temperature, so try and warm your hands up a little bit before touching the client's skin. What we're going to be doing at this time is, by, is breaking up those frozen and broken down fat cells, and you're going to regulate the temperature of the skin before starting the 40K cavitation treatment. After doing that massage treatment, we are going to do the 40k cavitation treatment. If you have a look at the screen, the third image is the 40k handle. It's quite easy to see. There is a picture and it does say 40k, so we will select that. Right, the work time for this treatment should be around 15 minutes and that is the automatic uh, work time that will come up, so that's fine. You can leave it at that. The modes, there are three different modes on the machine. We recommend using mode number one. Then we are going to adjust our energy. Our energy can go right up to 10 and we will generally recommend starting halfway. So you can start on number five or energy level five and you can adjust it according to your client's preferential feelings. So if they are saying that they, they would like you to go a little bit higher, you can turn up that energy level. This is our 40k cavitation handle. When we're working with this handle or this treatment, we are always going to make sure that we use the blue ultrasound gel. We like to use an ultrasound gel like a, a bottle like this so that it's easy to warm up before the client's treatment so that that ultrasound gel isn't cold on top of the surface area that has already been frozen. We like to use this bottle as well because it's quite easy to shake around so that the, the gel comes out quite easily. Okay, and when we are working with this treatment, we're going to make a nice little mountain of gel on top of the cavitation handle. When in doubt, use more gel. Take a look at our settings for the 40k cavitation treatment on our machine. The third image says 40k and it has a picture of the cavitation handle, so that's quite easy to work out. When it goes onto the screen, it will automatically bring up the 15 minute work time and that is how long you are going to do this treatment for. So it will remain on 15 minutes. There are three different modes that you can choose from, but we recommend using mode number one. The energy level goes up to 10 
but we recommend starting at halfway at five and then seeing how your client feels. If your client says that they are feeling absolutely fine and that you can increase the energy level, you can go up to about eight and we recommend not going much higher than that. When you are ready to start your treatment, you are going to press the start button and you will see that the light on the handle does light up. When you press stop, the light will go off. When you have finished your, your 15 minutes treatment, you will just once again press those two little arrows which will take you back to the main screen. After your 40k treatment, you are going to follow it with an RF treatment, which is the very last icon on the right hand side. Okay, this is our RF handle. The work time that will come up automatically on the screen is 30 minutes. You can take that right down to 15 minutes. This treatment does not need to be longer than 15 minutes. There are once again three different modes and we recommend using mode number one. The energy for this setting goes right up to 20. For this treatment we recommend once again starting at about 10 and slowly increasing depending on your client's comfort levels. This handle will get slightly warmer so it is important to make sure that you are checking in on your client and seeing how they are feeling. Something that we always need to remember when doing an RF treatment is that you need to use, once again, the blue ultrasound gel. This bottle works quite well because it can get in between the probes quite easily and you will be able to fill this whole handle with blue ultrasound gel and once again, if in doubt, add more gel. You're going to ensure that the client has lots of gel on the body part that you are working on so that they are not going to feel any burning sensations or discomfort. Once again, after your 15 minute RF treatment, you are then going to come back to your main screen and you will then finally select the LiPo laser icon. The nice thing about this machine is that each of these uh, LiPo pads on the left hand side is numbered on the screen. So if I select lipo pad number one and I select energy, I can turn the energy up right up to high for just lipo pad number one. And when I press start, you'll see that number one is glowing a lot more red than the rest of the pads. So I can just press stop once again and I can do that with all of the, the pads that I'm going to be using for that treatment laser pad number one onto its full intensity. Now I'm going to show you how you can increase the intensity or adjust the intensity for each laser lipo pad. If I select number two, I can turn up that frequency right up to high and then maybe for example I don't need to use the third one and I just want to turn on number four, I can jump to number four and turn that one up as well. The nice thing about this machine is that it also has the smaller pads so it can be used on smaller body parts so if I want to use number five which is this handle this black pad over here um, and I want to put it on the inside of somebody's arm I would not want to use the full intensity of that um, that that pad I would only go up to about halfway so I will stop when I get to the yellow color. These intensity levels don't have numbers, they just work on color. So we generally recommend for those sensitive areas to start on yellow and to just see how the client feels. If you would like to add the laser lipo treatment onto your cryo fat freeze treatment, we recommend doing this for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can adjust the work time by selecting time and then using the up and down arrows okay you will see that there are once again three different modes and the mode number one is the mode that we recommend using we have already pressed start as our lipo pads are already lit up but in order to stop the treatment you can just press that same button again and you will press stop using those two arrows at the bottom of the screen you can press back and it will take you back to your main screen. With your machine you will also receive black straps similar to these 
and there are a variety of different sizes. These straps can be attached to one another to suit your client's needs according to their body uh, type and their body size. Okay, you will strap these laser lipo pads onto the, the client's body, making sure that the lipo pad is facing down onto their skin and you cannot see the circles. When your client comes in for their treatment, you're going to provide them with a client's profile indemnity form. We will give you a few options and you can choose from those. For the cryo treatment, you're going to need a membrane pad, a gel membrane antifreeze pad. Okay, we, we do sell these on our website and we are very well priced. So if you'd like to have a look on our website, you'll find these over there. Right, they're very easy to open even if you are wearing gloves. Okay, and then you'll pull it out and you will use generally one gel pad per body part. The smaller gel pad is going to be placed at the top of the stomach and that is where the larger cryo handle is going to be positioned. But there is this bigger pad as well, okay? And this is going to be placed on the client's stomach, if that is the area that you're working on. Okay, you're going to open it up, it is quite a nice size. Oh, they are very sticky as you can see. Okay, and that is because it is it does have antifreeze gel liquid on it. Right, so you're going to fill the whole space as best you can. Okay, and you're going to try and remove all as many of those air bubbles as possible. Now you can see that my gel pad is coming off onto the towel there and that's absolutely fine because what's going to happen is it is going to be sucked up into the handle. Okay, we want to try and get rid of as many of those air bubbles as possible. Just like that. Okay, right. Then we are going to take our cryo lipo handle number one, okay, and we are going to position it over that smaller gel pad, okay, so I am going to press start now so that you can see how the technology works, okay, um, I am going to adjust the settings on the handle at the moment. Okay, so that is my suction and that is my release and like I said a little bit earlier if your suction is on 0.5 your release always needs to be higher so I've taken it up to 1.4 okay and I can adjust my time on the handle I can also adjust my temperature okay if I say down it's going to bring the temperature up to positive one degree if I press up it's going to take it down to minus degrees okay if I wanted to press pause I could just press that button once again okay but we want it to keep working so that the fat is going to be suctioned into that pocket after a few minutes the fat will have sucked right up to the top towards the top of the handle right I'm now going to put my smaller handle at the bottom of the client's tummy Okay, I'm going to select my second screen and I'm going to press start. Okay, and now that's where you can see that that membrane pad that was placed on the towel has actually sucked into the, the cup and we're going to make sure that we are just monitoring that so that the, the pad, um, the handle is not freezing with no membrane on the skin. Okay, we want to make sure that the membrane uh, pad is always on top of the skin during this treatment. Once again I can now adjust my release time and my um, suction time is fine, my temperature is on zero degrees and I can adjust my time down to 20 minutes. Okay and that is how your client is going to rest for the rest of that time but something that we can do is after 10 minutes we can press pause Okay, you can put your finger into the suction cup on the corner like that to break the suction 
and you can move the handle over for the second part of the treatment. So now for the next 10 minutes, the treatment is working slightly to the left or to the right. Okay, and that's just going to allow for a different part of this, the area to be worked on. Now we are moving, we've just moved it over ever so slightly so that we have a bigger surface area to work with. After the 20 minute treatment, you are then going to st either stop the treatment yourself on the handles or the treatment time will, will be finished, okay? I haven't finished the full 20 minute treatment, so I'm just going to press stop, okay? And once again, you're going to just put your finger in the corner, okay? And you are going to take your handle off. You can place it back in its position and once again, after your treatment, you're going to uh, disinfect that again really nicely. For the second one I'm going to press stop. Okay, I'm going to put my finger in here to create, to uh, break that suction pocket so that it doesn't harm the client. Okay, it will then come off nice and easily. Right. Okay, so I can press stop on there and back. Right, now when I take off this membrane gel pad, your client might see some redness, bruising, um, or a little pocket of fat on the top and bottom. We didn't do a full treatment, so Rambi's skin hasn't changed too much. But when I feel it like this, I definitely can feel the temperature of the skin is a lot colder. So what you're going to do after this, you're going to throw this away firstly, but I'm just going to leave it over there just for now. But straight after this treatment, you're going to make sure that your hands are nice and warm, room temperature, and you're going to just work on that client's area, the area where we have just had those suction cups on, and you're going to break down those cold fat cells, okay? You're going to massage it towards the lymph nodes, okay? So down, okay, from the stomach, you can also work upwards towards the armpits, Okay, and you're just regulating the temperature of that skin so that when you go on to your next treatment, this client's skin isn't too cold. Okay, and then straight after that, you can apply your ultrasound gel, which you should have uh, warmed up before the client has arrived. Okay, and we are also going to put ultrasound gel onto the client's, uh, onto the cavitation handle, okay? But we just want to also make sure that we have some on the skin as well, so that we have more than enough available. Okay, our bottle is a little bit empty at the moment, so you can make sure that your bottle is nice and full before your treatments. Okay, and then we can just make sure that it's nicely dispersed around the, the client's ear, its body part. Okay. Now, the nice thing that we recommend doing is after applying the gel to the client's stomach, your gloves are obviously going to be quite sticky from the membrane gel pad and the ultrasound gel. So you could then take off this pair of gloves and reapply a new pair of gloves so that you are not getting that membrane gel onto your handle. Okay, I have my box of gloves right here. So I can put my gloves on, okay, and get ready for my next, the next part of my treatment, which is going to be the 40K cavitation treatment. And that's going to be for 15 minutes. Right, so the next part of our treatment is the 40K cavitation. So I'm going to select that image on the main screen, and I'm going to take my 40K cavitation handle. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have got more than enough ultrasound gel on here as well. Okay, and I'm going to make a little mountain of gel on there. We have also applied some ultrasound gel onto the client's skin 
So, and then there was also that membrane gel pad on the earlier, so it should be quite good painted. Okay, right. We're going to um, have a look at the machine over here to look at the settings. Uh, work time is already on 15 minutes, which is correct. Okay, remember we can go up to 10, but we're going to start at about 5 or 6, um, depending on your client and the comfort levels. Um, and then we're going to remain on mode number one. When I press start, you will see that um, the gel is actually uh, sizzling a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Rums. Okay, that's completely normal. Okay, and the lights have switched on. Okay, when we are working on the body part, we are going to work in a circular motion. Okay, and then down towards the lymph gland. Okay, circular motion and down towards the lymph gland. Now, if you can hear the cavitation handle, it means that you are not pressing hard enough and that you should apply a tiny bit more pressure. If your client can hear ringing in their ears, that is a good sign. It means that it's working really well. Okay. And you can just reassure them that that's completely normal. And you're going to always work in circular motions and then up towards the lymph glands. Right, another option is to include your um, left hand if you are right-handed and you can work on both, the work using both hands, okay? Right, and you're going to continue working around the stomach in circular motions and pushing those broken down fat cells towards those lymph glands. Right, the next part of our treatment is the radio frequency treatment. We're going to select the RF picture on the right hand side and this is our RF handle. Right, so the nice thing about using these bottles is that I can open it and I can squeeze straight into here and I can make once again a little mountain in between the probes. Okay, and as I said earlier, we need to ensure that there is enough ultrasound gel in between all of these probes because the radio frequency handle does get warm and we don't want our clients to feel warm or uncomfortable in any way. We have also left the ultrasound gel on the client's body because we are going to um, continue using that gel and the more the merrier. So when in doubt, we're always going to make sure that we do have enough gel. Right, I'm going to adjust my work time down to 15 minutes, okay? And I'm going to turn my energy up to about seven. Okay, and I'm going to press start. Right, so we're going to, for this treatment, we're going to work in the same motion, those circular motions, and then down towards the lymph glands. Okay, but for this treatment, you're not going to press as hard. Okay, you can still apply a, a, a fair amount of pressure, but not as hard as when you're working with the cavitation handle. Okay, and this radio frequency is now just melting down those frozen fat cells that we worked on earlier. Okay, and then it's going to just continue breaking down that fat and sending it towards those lymph glands. The final part of this treatment is going to be the laser lipo pads. Okay, I have applied our straps onto Rumbi's abdomen. Okay, we have got two straps that have been strapped together. And I'm now going to go on to my second image over here, the laser lipo image. And I'm going to work with four large lipo pads for this treatment. So I'm going to select energy and I'm going to turn, uh, turn the energy right up to full for all four of them. Okay. And I'm going to bring my work time down to 10 minutes because this is just to finish off that treatment. Okay, so starting at the back, we have the, the lipo pad number one. Okay, and we're going to just slip it in like that. Okay, and we have lipo pad number two. Okay, lipo 
Project Pen number three. These cables can get a little bit tangled, so we do recommend detangling your cables directly after each treatment. Okay, and your Marco handle number four. Right, and then I'm going to press my time. I'm going to bring it down to 10 minutes. And I will press start, and your client will be able to just lie there and relax for the next 10 minutes while those flares and lipo pads do their work. But what we do recommend doing is after a few minutes, after about four or five minutes, we can just go and move those pads ever so slightly, either downwards or up, you know, however you need to move them, just so that those laser lipo holes are not going to be penetrating into one area for the full treatment. Thank you so much for watching our Growl Cryo Fat Freeze Cavitation and RF tutorial video. Please follow us on Facebook and Instagram or visit our website at www.growl.co.za.